Hey everyone, it's Jana Verbeko, Realtor in London, Ontario. As always, check us out online at londonsbest.ca. Last week, I did a video about where to begin, and that was to find a great agent. Now, like many relationships in life, the first few dates can be great, and then sometimes it doesn't go so well. So the same applies for real estate. You can start off, you know, everyone's really excited and happy, and then the honeymoon phase sort of wears off, and all of a sudden, you know, you're frustrated because your agent emails you instead of calls you or texts you because, uh, you know, and it's late at night or something like that. So I wanted to talk about how you as a realtor can um, eliminate that in the beginning by just asking questions and listening to your clients and also as a client if you're unhappy with something that your realtor is doing uh, my answer to pretty much everything is just say something because we're not mind readers so if you don't say to us that you're unhappy with something um, then we don't know so really as a realtor I feel like you should be proactively asking your clients these types of questions that is our job we are hired to do a job and that is to service our clients so be focused on your client um, I ask every single client how they would prefer that I communicate with them do they prefer text do they prefer email do they prefer phone calls is there a certain time that's too late to call is there a certain time that's too early to call um, you know those are super important questions because someone's job they may not have access to their phone so if you're calling them with important information and leaving long voicemails that they can't check for hours that can sometimes be detrimental to a deal where time is of the essence so so important that you ask that question um, when it comes to viewing appointments it's another question I ask them is what is the best time for you to view property if I'm calling clients and trying to get them to see a house on Saturday and that client works every Saturday if I'm the client I'm gonna be frustrated and say Janet like write down somewhere that I am NOT available on Saturdays and that's exactly what I do so another really important question is about viewing properties I also also think that you should always be asking for feedback from your clients so as you're showing homes you know one thing that I do is point out the things that may not work for my clients and and as I'm doing that I, I will often ask my clients like is it okay with you that I'm telling you these things because some clients don't want to hear the negative you know they just want to hear the positive and maybe they'll ask you for your opinion um, but that's just something I naturally do so I make sure it's okay so I think that with everything that you're doing as a realtor I think you should just be asking for feedback in a subtle way it doesn't have to be a full-on you know feedback form but um, everything you do is going to be different for every single client and I think it's important to recognize that you cannot service people the same way every time unless you know exactly what their preferences are so that is my tip for today be proactive be client focused and uh, and tailor your service and communication style to that particular client if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave those below and of course as always check us out online at londonsbest.ca have a great day